guys, Crew Blowing Wave. I'm Eric. Shane. Rick. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we are back. Already. With The Mandalorian. Last time on The Mandalorian. Death. Suicide Squad. There's no death. Went to go pick up. Matt Lanter. Except that robot. And Matt Quinn. Yeah. 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 Dav- Con what's, Air. What's his name? Yeah. Quinn you know, Medicine Man. I've rewatched Dav- the episode twice now, and every time I feel real bad for Matt Lanter. Me too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's the guy just trying to get. That's a job, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. a job. So, so he probably doesn't want to be there. I feel yeah. good for. Wolf, though. Trapper Wolf. Trapper I Wolf. I love that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I love it as well. Uh, there were a lot of things to love, and that was the subject of our poll. Which actor slash character appearance was your favorite this episode? We will start from... Lois. Lois. So, the lowest was Ismael Cruz Cordova as Quinn, with 0% of the vote. Ooh. So, Quinn, the wow. toilet, toilet, got 0%. I put him in there, because why not? He was the oh. only left out. Okay. Quinn. I would have left him out, because no one knew who he was. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But I was like, well, he's like the only cast member we haven't put in there. <laughs> you know? right. That's uh, fair. 1% Mark Boone Jr. as Ran. Uh, Ranzar Malk. Yeah, the, so, the uh, crime guy. I, mean, I, I, I really felt like he'd fit really well in a Star Wars Underworld-like character, mm-hmm. but I wasn't super hyped. So I get that. Um, 4% Tide, which is uh, Natalia Tina as Shion and Matt Lanter as Davon. 4% each. 7% Richard Ayode. How you say it? Ayoade. Ayoade as zero. Um, then we jump up here. Then we jump up to 11% Clancy Brown as Berg. 26% Dave Filoni, Rick Famayue, Deborah Chow as the X Wing pilots. And then 42%, of course, Bill Burr as Mayfield. Okay. Yeah. What was Mayfield. Matt Lanter's name? Devon. Davon. 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 Huh. He says his name in the episode. Davin. Yeah. Davin. He says Davin. Yeah. Is it Davin? Davin. Like, yeah. All right, Davin. Both Spelled D A V A N. We just want a prisoner. Yeah, I think, I think it was like Davin. Yeah. No longer matters. We'll you find know, him like, on his tombstone. You know, like, a part of the marketing, like, Gina Carrera, right, the martial arts chick from the fourth episode. Yeah. Like, she was, I think, a big push in the marketing. But, like, I feel like Bill Burr had more time than her almost, I feel like. Maybe. So, Sam Clintworth says, I jumped for joy for Dave Filoni. Yeah, yeah. Zygon Bagel says, for me, it's Clancy Brown. It was fun character, and it was great to see him there. Daniel says, as much as I enjoyed Dave Filoni's appearance, Bill Burr was a solid actor. Joel says, when I saw those X-Wings, I thought I was watching original Star Wars. P.S. Bill Burr being there gives me credit, gives more credit for Boba being in the last episodes. And people were saying, oh, it's Bill Burr's character that, that showed up sure. to, to Monday. And it wasn't. And it was not. <laughs> Probably. Probably wasn't. <laughs> Julian Riviera says Dave Filoni was one of my favorite people, is one of my favorite people on Earth. But Clancy Brown beats him out by hair. For me, Matt Lanner was my third pick for this. Raphael, Dave Filoni in X-Wing? My year is finally complete. Yes, Just got in there. His too. Out. Yeah. AB says, oh, that was Matt Lanter? I was wondering why the random New Republic dude was so hunky. <laughs> the hunky oh, guy. Hunky. <laughs> Hybrid Fizzle says, I'm a Game of Thrones nerd, so I got to vote for, vote for Natal- Natalia, Natalia Tenna as Shion. And Ryan says, Bill fucking Burr. That's all he says. Mm-hmm. He would approve. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of comments on this. Yeah. Josh McIntyre says, having no attachment to Bill Burr, I only know him from these occasional cameos and you guys referencing him. And uh, while seeing Dave as an X-Wing pilot was so good, I have to go with Richard as Zero. Yes! yes. Come on, Zero. Gordon, we'll end with Gordon. He says, I love all of the cameos, but what I really loved was just, has, just how well the characters were in the story. Each yes. actor pulled it off. Such a great episode. Such a great show. So good. thank you guys for uh, interacting with that poll over at Patreon. We'll have another one for this one. Uh, this is the episode before... Yeah, Rise so of Skywalker, so it, ends. it will end next week. Right, yeah, last this is one. The episode before the one that ends. Get it, yeah. I await your arrival with optimism. I love the way he. Talks. I'm gonna wait for people with optimism. I'm gonna wait Dude, for you every morning with optimism. It sounds too good to be true, but yeah, it does sound too good and, and hard too. I don't know. What's his name again? Grief. <laughs> oh. oh gosh, this, this is, is awesome. Awesome. Or not? Uh, uh, you were doing it. Yes. It's a strap match. Yeah. It's a, well, Oh, no, she's not. Yeah. Oh! Well. Hey, that, okay, that's how you submit? Yep. Yeah. Interesting. He's Imperial. 
Ooh. Your rebellion. Does that hit different? <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm in. Yeah! Oh, cool. You son of a bitch! Uh, I'm in. <laughs> I love the tattoo like under her eye. Yeah, me too. I was just thinking about that too. Dang it! What are you doing? He's trying to fix it. Is he? Oh, dude, oh, that's so cool though. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was messing with it. <laughs> okay. You got anyone you can trust? Clear! Oh! What? Then you fixed it! How did you get anyone care for some tea? He you shot him. reprogrammed it. Yeah, how did you get it? It's programmed to kill the baby. Not anymore. Yes! That's awesome. Yes! That's awesome! It's so glad. Flashback. This is all I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Has it learned to walk again? You'd have to learn everything from scratch. Oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> He's just a guy to teach, too. That's so cool. I know. None won't be free until the old ways are gone. Forever. I have spun. I love the dialogue in this episode. Mm -hmm. Me too. He kind of looks the like Nick Nolte. will join me as well. Yes! Dude, it blurs on the ship? I have spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> How many head of blurt does he have? I mean, Dad, you're fine. Uh, what are you helping? What are you doing, buddy? Uh, no! He thinks they're fighting. Kara uh, is my friend. That is not okay. Very <laughs> Oh my Curious. gosh. It almost killed me. Nothing could go wrong. Oh, ah! Holy shit! What was that? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> they're being they attacked by something. Yeah! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's not good. Another one. How many are there? So many. Man, they didn't go down easy, did they? No. Fuck no. He's gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Yes! Thank you. Oh Thank god. you, Quill. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Shaking. Fuck. Oh, That's a live action force heal. That's so cool. Yeah. This is the music. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Man. That's been in. Oh, oh man, I want to see that. Games. That's been in Go Tour and Swift Tour and all kinds of stuff. And I want to see that reaction, man. I want to see. I want to hear the conversation. Oh, oh nice. What? <laughs> something you should know. It's all been a trap. Yep. Because, yeah, okay. He was picked Tracking up. Tracking fobs. The plan was to kill you and take the kid. But after what happened last night, I couldn't go through with it. Yes! Good man. Apollo Creed. <sighs> the old dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. It's an oldie to goodie, boys. I love this song. I'm so in love with this show. I know. Like, I'm obsessed. I love how they're walking down the street in a line. All the Mandalorians are gone, too. Yeah, they relocated. Why are they showing him? He's going back. He's got the IG droid, too, so. Yeah, that's true. He said the IG droid will protect. I, I trust that man that, that I mean, that I'm gonna have to do anything. <laughs> Godfather of my children. I would like to see the baby. Oh, it is asleep. We all will be quiet. <laughs> Don't think me to be rude. I must take this call. Oh. Okay. Got it's Gus. House guests coming. It's Gus or something. Here we go. He's out. Oh, the youth, the leader. Ah. Uh, no. Moff Gideon. Moff. Have they brought the child? Yes, I have. You may want to check again. Oh no. Did he intercept us? Oh! Whoa, what? what the fuck? Oh exactly. my god, are those death troopers? They are. Oh! Oh, cool, dude. This isn't good. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Dude, those things. Oh my god. That was a Hasbro. That was a toy, a Kenner toy back in the day. Four stormtroopers. <laughs> Look at them all. There's the five of firsts. <laughs> and. Oh, oh shit! I've never seen one land like that. I didn't know he could do that. I was gonna say, I'm curious to see how he gets out. Huh? That's pretty cool. Now you fuckers at celebration have more work to do. <laughs> Man, look at how many there are. That is such a sweet tie fighter outfit. Mm-hmm. Man, 
<laughs> He's so cool at everything, isn't he? Oh, come on! IG11! means more to me. Why? Why? Quill. Come in, Quill. What? No, Quill, it's, come in. it's gotta be fake. Why? Did they kill him? Quill. No! Oh, fuck, dude! Dude, god damn it! Fuck! What about the IG joint? Don't be the end! Chow! Oh, Chow! Damn you! I, I love that. That was it fucking like doozy, a, man. It, it's like a, I don't know. Yeah, it was, it feels like a... Dude, I, I just said this episode, like, I love the character of Quill. I know. Quill, so however you say it, but... Quill. He was written so well this episode, and all those, like, the attention he had with Kara, like... Like, uh, three lives of servitude, he said, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we found his backstory. He's been a slave for 300 years, uh, I, earned his freedom with his own hands, was finally out of the game. I hope he's alive, and maybe the IG what, joy what, I, what he did for IG-11, IG-11 can do for him. Yeah. yeah. But they, they still do. have Baby Yoda. They do. We got one more episode, baby. I don't, I don't know that Grief, Kara, and Mando can take them. No. But I'm trying to think, too, like, what can show up to help. I mean, the Mandalorians could. Yeah, but they're gone. they're gone. They're gone. No, I, imagine, I imagine, too, too. At but the last thing, the convert. they're not there now. But we have IG-11. The, we have the IG droid. Yeah. It could like, be. Like, maybe that can cause a big enough distraction that they can get out and get an advantage in some way or fashion. I also thought maybe the Bounty Hunters Guild itself, like, you know, grief is such a part of that. that maybe. That maybe they fight back. I mean, they like to put their, these stormtrooper heads on sticks. When they show up, they might, like, all right, we got more sticks. It's unlikely, but maybe the New Republic. I don't know if the Guild did that, though. That was Tatooine that had that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was so, Tatooine. I don't, I don't know how they stand. Cause, I mean, he killed two of his that he had, yeah. so he must not be listening too well. You know? I'm just saying, like, the, the Imperials are not, like, the the big force anymore, you know? I mean, obviously, there's, a, there's a, these ex-Imperials here, but, like, will the Bounty Hunters go, like, if they felt like they were being... Taken over, will they fight back? I yeah. don't know. Well, as I was saying, though, with the, the <clears throat> two that we still had that were of the guild, yeah. he killed them rather than being like, hey, guys, we're going to do this know, instead. So if his influence is an indication there, you would figure that he would have been like, guys, you're joining us, and we're, we're doing it this way now. But mm -hmm. instead, he killed them. because The he way he killed them was, the was so awesome, too. Just <laughs> bam, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call, Apollo Creed speed. It was like Woody Harrelson. Yeah. yeah. The way that uh, he acts, too, like... Uh, Oh shit, Carl Weathers. Like, mm -hmm. I think anywhere else it would be a little hammy, mm -hmm. but there's something that fits so well into Star Wars form. Yeah. Same thing with Quill. Yeah. I, I bet whoever saves them is the same person who wears the Spurs. You haven't seen the Spurs uh, come back yet. But it would be crazy yeah. if that person, you know, saved uh, Finnick and they both came back for some reason. I don't know. But I'm, I don't know why they would come. The Mandalorian, you know? Yeah. What, what I'm really happy with is, like, we've had all of these, like, kind of side episodes, and people are like, well, there's no real story here, but now it's all, it, this came together with, like, the first half. Do you think maybe we get, like, the Bill Burr group coming after him or something? Maybe they help somehow? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know that they help. No, I don't, but maybe they're, <laughs> I, I don't know, but I'm just wondering, like, I mean, they could take out this the first Imperials. part, this is mm -hmm. kind of like a part one of a finale. If it, is a part two going to be, like, the second half of things that he went out and did? Including like you know the spur guy, uh, Mon and Wei, you know maybe could be. I yeah. just don't know how like they how they tie in in a helpful manner. Yeah, unless I, it's more of a help a, is a, the wrong word. Unless it's more of a way that they're you know they're like I'm wanting revenge on the Mandalorian, so the no one else Imperials is allowed to kill him. Aren't gonna kill him. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna kill or him. Like, like, I can see maybe something kind of like that. We'll buy you, him from you. Maybe I don't, I don't want Moff Gideon taken out by those guys. So. You know? I, I, I kind of want him to get away, so we still have him out there. They as need to go away limping. He's a you great. Know? He's a great villain. I Especially, want him around for more than an episode and ten minutes. I mean, he yeah. just showed up, yeah, and then we get him next episode, and that's it, and he dies or something. You know? Yeah, but like, I hope. I think he has the potential for a great villain. I don't think he's a great villain yet. I haven't seen yeah. enough of him. But he looks amazing. And but yeah. I don't know what his one so I don't know why yeah. he wants to kid all that stuff. Like, but I mean, he seems like, that's the best entrance. I've had in Star Wars in a very long time. I mean, all these guys coming out, coming down, and then just stunting with that. I didn't know t a TIE fighters could do that. No. I've no never seen it. They've always just hung. It was probably a practical a solution. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually love Warner Herzog's character. Me too. I mean, well, yeah, the, say Warner Herzog, name. the character. Say that name. What is that name? Hubert Berzak. Is that no, his name? Werner's. 
Oft Trump. Oh, oh, oft this, oft I, Brad Gruber. Uh, this is a German. Yeah, because Mandelonier oh. is not that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not his name. <laughs> what is this? He's just called the. That's the German. Yeah, he's yeah, called the Klein. German. He's just called the Klein. Yeah, he, I guess he's like yeah. some. Like, oh, okay. Renowned Russian. Well, I saw like like Russian. I saw like screenwriter and director. I saw Kara's yeah, name and Quill's name, and then I saw like that. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. And I saw like Moff Gideon. I'm like, okay. And there's like, a there's a story that came out when they were like making the show, and the execs at Disney were like, I don't know if we should do a puppet for Yoda. Like that might be too much. And Herzog like is talking to him, and he's like, do it, you cowards. They called him cowards. Called I guess him cowards. They, they did a CG backup in case it didn't work. Yeah, out. he called him cowards for doing that. For the baby Yoda. Yeah. For, and they they decided to go with puppet because they would be cowards. Yeah, that's great. Was, to be. Uh, Thank God for him. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. dead now, but I love him. Do I love the? Yeah, he's real dead. I Man. love the baby Yoda. I love that we had like a um, a force heal. In, Man, that's in, in live action. That's a big deal. We've never it's, seen that. Yeah, it's not a thing that we've seen before, which is. Interesting, considering like, you know, people getting hurt and different things, yeah, and, or shot or whatever. Yeah. Like, why didn't Luke use it on his dad? <laughs> well, I mean, that could have been a different issue there, maybe. Luke didn't wouldn't have the. But yeah. it, it is also could be one of those things where like it's only certain Jedi are good at it. it yeah, only it could be similar to. Yeah, Luke didn't um, even know about that yet. Oh dang! The like Native American like Jedi that can sense stuff that Quinlan Voss. Yeah, like the, he has that uh, the echo. Psychometry. He has like that echo thing like. Fallen Order also has, like you know, Fallen but Order not has. every Jedi has that ability, yep. so it could be something that's like very specific. But we also saw like the Force choke too, so like maybe he's just you know, very strong that he has yeah. this ability. We have to assume that he hasn't been had any kind of training, so this is just happening instinctually. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. but the Force choke, like that's some dark stuff. Like that's the you know Jedi use the Force for knowledge and defense, never attack. You yeah, know? but he doesn't Except know. Except for Luke. But he doesn't know that. Uh, he Jabba's was palace. His... Well, that, yeah, that's he... the great thing yeah. about that movie is because he comes in, he's wearing a dark robe, and he's choking pigs, and you're like, what the hell? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's choking pigs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, with, with this, like, he doesn't have the line of what's good and bad. He just knows, like, hey, this guy's watching out for me, yeah. and I protect him whenever he, he's in trouble. I mean... He's in trouble right now. Look at that. Yeah. Choke that joker. I know. That's a great... Choke, he doesn't understand everyone. that they're not fighting, you know? And he had yeah. a concerned look, and he's like, I'm just trying to get my daddy. <laughs> you know? Like, like, she's my friend. <laughs> you know, it'd, be, so, it'd be crazy. She's like, guys! <laughs> 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 yeah. He's like, he probably doesn't even understand death. Well, yeah, it's yeah. the it's the balance of the force. I mean, the Jedi don't own the force. The light side doesn't own the force. They have to find that balance. And the baby, the you know, he hasn't been indoctrinated. Yeah, with yeah all baby that. doesn't have beliefs or dogma or anything. It's just what it is. Yeah, they didn't have object permanence yet. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yeah, I love, guys, I love the show. I love whenever he's like up there just flying the ship, screwing everything up. Ah! <laughs> we need someone to watch. Oh, look at him! You're like, he's trying to help. Like, now he's just. I thought like they were in a tractor beam or something. Yeah, and he yeah. was trying to. And he was trying to stop it. I love them. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Let's uh, jump into some Q and A's, and I got some other notes here too that we can get into. Yeah, but let's see some Q and A's here. Um, Derek the Spider. We'll start out with him. Derek says, "Best episode yet," but I am broken. I Do love them think... all, but yeah. Do you think we just met some of the series long Big Bad, or will the crew smash his ass in the finale? Uh, I'm broken too. I mean, if, if, that's, if Quill is dead and there's no IG-11 like saving the day, then I'm uh, I'm upset because he was it's such a it's, yeah, it's it not be the, sad because he wanted to help, you know. Yeah, but. this could be the last time he has spoken. Yeah, I wish he would end it with I have spoken then. As far as the the moth, I kind of want him to. I want to establish like how yeah like how bad he is or how much of a villain he's going to be, but maybe not take him out. Because it's the same idea of, like, I don't know if I want it to tie into, like, something related to, like, Snoke or any of that. But then also, if you bring in, like, Snoke as your villain or something like that, the Mandalorian can never kill Snoke because the movies are tied in. But if you get some other villain, you have some kind of lasting enemy that we're, you know, at odds with, then... Yeah. You have that. Now kind of like the same idea with Firefly, too. You have that that organization thing that's, like, the bad stuff or the the, Mm -hmm. uh, The Reavers. Reavers. You know, like yeah. just having something there that can always be something that you can bring in. But then you can always touch on random extra stories here and there. Now that Rick especially has seen the trailer for episode nine and heard that Palpatine laugh, we can really dive in if we wanted to, that theory that what if Baby Yoda and you know these Imperials are looking for something to help Palpatine mm-hmm. return or live or something. And I thought, well one, with the Baby Yoda species that might just be something interesting, but mm-hmm. But the ability of force healing too, you know, yeah, I mean, that ties in somehow. I don't know. Yeah, it was interesting too how they mentioned about the baby Yoda 
Like he doesn't think he was genetically engineered. Yeah. Yeah. What's a strand cast? A strand cast. That I sounds think... like something from Death Stranding. Strand I, cast. I think it's it's a word for a being who was genetically engineered, engineered or cloned. cloned or... You take like a strand of DNA. Strand cast. And you yeah. cast a mold of a bean from like that strand of DNA or something. Interesting. Like a clone or. So would like yeah would like, so like Camino, Captain, would would Rex be called a strand cast because maybe. he's from Django like he was strand casted like he was casted as a mold from yeah. a strand of DNA or something along those it could be some kind of lingo from that that makes sense okay yeah but I I like at the same time though just real quick the mm. Quills thing of being like but you because he's like this guy's too ugly you know I don't yeah. think but you well, look like are you an angel pretty much <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm an angel. <laughs> that was funny, I like that. Uh, but Derek, I do agree about, like, if we can develop a big bat. Like, this is episode seven, and I feel like... Of eight. Of eight, yes. But <laughs> I think seven episodes is what I needed to feel like, no, you know, that anguish of losing that guy. And feeling yeah. like, this is a real lived-in characters, and I feel for him. Yeah. But I do feel like, well, who's the villain? It has been Werner Herzog, and now he's gone. I want to establish this guy, because yeah. what a great look. I, I, I don't, mm-hmm. don't want to have... You had that Werner Herzog guy... And then he gets killed by someone else, and the next episode they just kill that guy. I want sure. I want him to be a threat, more so. You know, yeah. I want to build him up and dang, yeah. he killed what I thought was a bad guy, and he's not. Chida Kuzar says, "I am speechless. Quill was my favorite, and I'm sad to see him go." And that cliffhanger of the crew pinned down with the Empire getting Baby Yoda scares me. What do huh. you think? What do you see happening to the crew slash Baby Yoda? Who lives <sighs> and who dies? I don't want to think about who dies. I don't know. Yeah, I, know. I, mean, I don't want to lose anyone. Yeah. We've seen how good the Mandalorian is, and Kara's no joke either. Uh, Grief, we don't really know yet how good yeah. he is, but he seems like he's, like he's got to be good. But I don't think they can take on all those stormtroopers and the death troopers. You know, like what all is like, there's a lot there. You yeah. Know? I don't, and I don't know how they get out of it. What like, Baby Yoda comes even, into play? Even IG. I don't think turns the tide enough on him. So I think so. I'm, I'm, uh, unless he comes in with like the ship or something. Yeah, he said like the ship yeah, has like a escape. lockdown mode. Yeah. I mean, without I mean, the ship has guns. Ship has guns, but yeah. also for escape. Like it could be a thing where like you know we've lost the day, but we're gonna try to save Baby Yoda. But can they later. escape somehow and not win? But they just escape. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, I can't, like, guess what happens next without just writing an episode in my head. Yeah. Or, like, I do see a scenario in which, like, if they were going to have, like, a public execution or something of the Mandalorian, let's say, you know, like, we'll go the Pirates of the Caribbean with it, and they're about ready to take his For helmet off. black sails. They're about, like, you know, they, they're about ready to take his helmet off or something, and the other Mandalorians come out because they don't go that way. <laughs> you know, that might be It's coming. not the way. This is yeah. not the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be cool. And we got to get him a motherfucking jetpack. That's what we need to get. Yeah. The only thing yeah. that was, like... Is every time he gonna he's gonna get into like serious trouble? Do we just have the Mandalorian show up? To the only reason I say that is like public execution is like if it's something that's like, you know, extended and public, whereas people know about sure. it and they're reading about it. It's and broadcasted. Yeah, uh, I was worried when Kershna is that his name? For who? The the villain guy who got shot up in the bar. Oh, Ver- Werner. Oh, Werner Herzog. Herzog. Yeah, that's, just called that's the, the actor's name. Yeah. I was uh, I was worrying when he was talking about like the Mandalorians and how they suffered that he was gonna like come with the head of the blacksmith. Oh, I'm oh, I was so <laughs> dark, Rick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. About, like, oh but so this I yeah. love that. I, I want her name before her head was gone. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. would I recognize her? Yeah. That's true. Uh, you have the helmet. You could just have the helmet. Connor Wilson says, uh, assuming and praying, Baby Yoda survives the finale. Would you guys want Mando to ever be shown what exactly Baby Yoda is, what the Force is, etc.? If yes, who and what would you want to explain it to him? A cool cameo, maybe. So I don't think there's any way Baby Yoda dies. Yeah, but like in terms of like explaining what, like Mando doesn't really know what the Force is. Quill didn't get a chance to say anything. Really no. Quill was gonna say something, He's, but then I think got Quill didn't even really couldn't, couldn't explain it that he, well. He said he heard rumors. He was familiar with the rumors of what it was, yeah. but not maybe but he too much of what it he was. He may have told them what he knew. We He's just cut away. I figured that something like that is something we would need to see, like Mandalorian discovering those things. And we also never came back to who saves the droid. Uh, who saves him from the joy that's going to shoot him in the trash can or wherever he's hiding in, in his flashbacks, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. we at least need that for the next episode. Anakin. Well, that's because oh we, or Obi-Wan Kenobi or something? It's going to be Mandalorian. During the Clone Wars? No, it's going to be Mandalorians. 
I think it's gotta be. Dude, if it was Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker, I would die. I, I would stab would be... myself in the heart because I knew I couldn't find anything better than that. <laughs> that would be so cool. I do it on camera. You guys have to upload it. It's Jar Jar. It's, it's against. I'd, I'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> He's already shooting a tongue, whips around. <laughs> he just gets spit, uh, spat on in the eye. What if it's a. Uh, Rick would go crazy. Ooh, it's a Toyota. Day. Bunch of Gungans just came in and saved the day. Look like, what the fuck? This is a desert planet. Why? God, that would be so amazing. What's the, Who's the badass Gungan? The badass one? Tarpus? What was him? Yeah. I don't know when that takes place. Depends on why would he, Yeah, why would he be there? Yeah. He, he All right. Be here. Um, if he cool was you well, know, prominent, but if he were to get explained what the force is, I, I don't know. I don't want him. To, I, I like the idea of it being a mystery to him, yeah. even though it's not a mystery to us. But it still is kind of. Yeah. Daniel says, "Incredible episode. Glad the crew is together. Are we going to see Mando's face in the next final episode? How do they free the child? Will Finnick Shand appear? Also, I'm so glad Deborah Chow is directing the Kenobi show." Her two yes. episodes have been my favorite. Episodes three and episode seven. What was three again? Three was when the Mandalorian. Three was the Mandalorian game. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she is. She is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know with this episode. If they don't know exactly who's in there, if Mandalorian can sneak away by taking off his armor and stuff, because they don't know what he looks like in, out of his armor. But we know that it looks like. Uh, yeah, like the he, he's, he's, he slips <laughs> away. You know, I don't know. That would be crazy. Like, he uh, has to forego the Mandalorian way in order not, to escape. That's not the way, though. I feel like there's got to be something with, with yeah, with Finnick, uh, Shand, and whoever came up to him. Because that is unresolved. Yeah, but it could also be a setup for next season or something. No, it could be. It really could be. Yeah. But, I don't know. We'll see. There's got to be something there. we got one more ep one more episode after watching the last See, hey, you know what? Too. If she is still alive... Quill, Quill can still. I'm just saying. I think. Alive, I think it's more likely that Quill could be alive than her, but we'll see. Like he could just be hurt because his blur got shot and he went flying off the blur. You know. Wasn't his he back smoking? Was smoking? Now he's all His face up. looked. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure he, he got smoking. shot. That could have been the blur behind him. No, he was there was smoking, definitely like in the mask. <laughs> coming off of him. He looked pretty <clears throat> dead. But could that be? You that like, some Could that be like he pocket. fell and it's like the sand like. Settling, you know, or is it smoke from a blaster bolt? We I don't. Think it, we don't know. It like you, we can smoke. think it's one or the other, but we don't know, right? It looked like smoke. I'm just saying, like, it's definitely it's, smoke, not dust. It could be volcanic ash from this volcanic planet, you know. I think the blur being shot, I, I assume more of a falling off yeah. kind of thing because they got separated. Rather than they just shot him, the blur keeps running. If forced to choose, I'm gonna say he got shot and he's dead. But if they came back and he went. Ugh! You know, I wouldn't be surprised, really. I'd be happy, actually. I don't yeah, think could have gotten to him. And Deborah Chow directing Kenobi, yeah, that, I mean, I think she's doing every episode, like, the whole thing, She's doing right? all of them, really? I think so. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm super excited super to see excited. what they do. Because this one, they had, like, uh, John do, like, the, yeah. the like, overseeing of all of it. But He's a like showrunner, different directors, basically. You know? and, yeah. and we've also just, like, we've, it's all new characters, and new, and, you know, other than, like, Tatooine, like, it's been, like, new stuff. Like, that's just, like, that's going to have... Obi Wan. You know? I'm, like, I'm really curious on that too. Is it gonna be like only on Tatooine? Yeah. Is it gonna be leaving Tatooine for some reason or something? Know. Or you know, like what's it gonna what's it gonna happen? Does he have uh, to leave to protect Luke? You know, for some reason, like some Luke had no idea. About yeah. And Punk, we can see a little Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Punk rock Pollyanna says, "Deborah Chow, you may now bring on the Obi Wan series. Sweet Jesus and all the Harry Krishnas. That was fucking emotional. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Much, much." Uh, Matthew Kylie says, how do you like seeing what happened to IG-11? Do you have any prediction for the season finale? I love how I had a training montage. Yeah. Yeah, that was... It, it's actually kind of emotional. When it first started doing the flashback, I was like, I don't know if you need a flashback. Like, I was thinking in my head, like, just, just you know, like I say it and let's move on. But then they started doing the, him messing up. I, mean, I don't know why he needs to be able to pick up, you know, tea, but then he was serving tea. I don't know why he had so many teapots to be yeah. with. Uh, well, yeah, and you, it, it you, became you, a sequence where I really enjoyed. You feel like you're raising like a baby, yeah. basically. Like actually, there's this uh, there's this woman I know. Like uh, she uh, she tutored me, and then she was very young. And she had a stroke. Yeah, and I know her mom. Her mom had a teacher how to do all the stuff again. She explained to me. It's yeah, very I, sad. It kind of made me think of that. I had a teacher with a what's called an aneurysm. I think it's yeah, what it's an aneurysm. And like yeah, they just they, they had to. Learn how to Luckily, breathe. they don't forget how to breathe, you know? Sometimes yeah. it happens. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times you die, yeah. but yeah. Um, but yeah, it was amazing to see IG-11 again. I was really sad when he died. I We kind of thought, like, well, maybe he'll come back. Either I mean, he's a droid, you can fix him. We had speculation that it could be fixed, but then who yeah. fixes him, why, and yeah. what occurs there, you know? Yeah. I just love the idea of Quill, like, 
coming to that place and being like, oh, what's, what's here? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, just scavenging around and finding yeah. him. It would be interesting if, like, a droid or droids save him somehow. And, like, yeah. he becomes to trust them again. What was the thing that... Yeah. I, I get you. There. Yeah, I feel like, like he's got to come into play the, like that. The opposite of what occurred when he was a kid of, yeah. like, these droids are coming in, killing everybody. This is a... There's humans here, but a droid comes in and saves, you know? And he did say, like, he will yeah. protect. Yeah. And that baby, if he's programmed to protect that baby. Yeah. And I, I really loved what Quill had to say, or Quill had to say about... Uh, about droids and how they're reflections of those who program them and those who shape them, like a neutral. Reflection. It makes you think, yeah. like, let me think of R two. It makes me think of like R two and three PO. Like mm-hmm. all the people they've been with have changed them, and that's why they are the way they are. Yeah, you know, three PO like, got reprogrammed halfway through, but yeah. Yeah, true, but like yeah, he has memory wipe. Not necessarily, oh, yeah, yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah. reprogrammed. Yeah, like he was yeah. still programmed, I think, the, by yeah uh, Anakin, Anakin to serve and help and yeah. protocol. But think about like, all of his years being with Padme and, and Anakin and stuff. Like It probably has affected him in ways that he doesn't understand mm-hmm. because you know, those certain wires and connections were made that weren't erased, you know? Yeah. It's kind of interesting to think about. Because my red arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Captain Solo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of right now. Uh. That. Also, Matthew says, it was great to see death troopers again. I agree. The fact that this is a moth Gideon because Director Krennic had the Death Troopers, and it seems like they just come with, like, the real important ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're like the personal guard. It instantly just makes you think that this Moff Gideon was definitely high up in that, and he has connections. See, I wonder if the thing there, too, is if, if the Imperial has been, you know, breaking apart, right, Empire, yeah. of, of everything, like, whatever's left, are they just following whoever's the highest that they can, or was he important before that they are still with him now? You know, That's they're probably f- just following the ones like you know, like who's in charge. It's whoever the people believe is in charge. Like he just probably just took control regardless of rank. Maybe he wasn't even a mob. That's why he's wearing a cape. You know, That's uh, all, I don't know. They also mentioned like normally when you kill an imperial, like all their guys scatter because now they're not getting paid. Maybe it's just. Because he has a lot of money, he had a lot of resources when the empire fell, and he can still maintain that that status. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad we lost Quill, but I'm glad we gained grief back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love grief. Yeah, in a better really way than like, we had before. I yeah. really like. And I mean, getting like, like, yeah, getting that crew together was just a great <sighs> feeling. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love. They was dying. Little Yoda saved him, and he's like, after what happened last Dying by Can't being you. scratched by a dragon. Yeah, what were those? I things? did not expect that. There were like there were like lava pterodactyl things. Uh, they're poisonous. I don't know they're lava. I remember in Jedi Apprentice there there's, was like this. Calvin saw lava and he's like, "There's a lava goat." There's and a lava they're dragon. at least they're at least compatible with <laughs> the like, environment. Like you know? space suits. Yeah, what a gun dark. What a gun dark. Space guns like. and we, space we suits. There was a gun dark in uh, Rebels and Clone Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember in Jedi Apprentice yeah. they, they were on a planet. It was like all water. It was one of the first books, and there was this big like island that was rocky. And it was covered with like dragons. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if it's those. And we hmm. we had dragons in Resistance recently too. Right. Yeah. Was they called kind of, dragon? They were yeah. something like that. Yeah. From something three or whatever. We uh, just got like a Star Wars uh, bestiary, didn't we? Bestiary. Best, oh, bestiality. All, all, yeah. Bestiary. All the aliens. <laughs> yeah. Bestiary. We did the bestiality book. Uh, yeah. Ashley Jenkins. How in the hell did those blurgs fit on that ship? Uh, Rip Quill, he will be missed. Also, today's my birthday. I would really love if you guys gave me a shout out as you're one of my favorite YouTubers. He just, Happy birthday, he Ashley. He said your name. Happy birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday, Hope it's a good Ashley. one. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Andre. What? Look at this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Expect me to be bald? He's gonna, he's gonna write on me that I took his hat. <laughs> Andre says, you son of a bitch. I'm in. Oh, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a very apt... Reference. Okay, uh, Carl Schwer, oh. Schwarz. Let go of that. Carl Schwarz says, Now that we know that Moff Gideon has no spurs, who is that character at the end of chapter five? My money is on Bob- Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. I've only read it. I, I thought I just. Hey, Boba. I don't think it's Boba. I don't think Boba's going to show up. Boba Fett comes in, just destroys everything. See, the thing, though, is that if there's already canon stories of Boba Fett's armor being found and taken, then I don't think it's him because of... Well, well in the canon know. story, they don't find the armor in the Sarlacc. It's in the middle of the desert, as if it had been taken off. Mm-hmm. So he, I think that means that he 
at least got out of the Sarlacc. We don't know what happened to him after that. He had to take his helmet off to get out of the Sarlacc pit. What if the Sarlacc pit spit it up because it couldn't digest the armor? What happened to and that's the moved. idea. moved. A Sarlacc moving? It's like a sand Like tornado. a craboid? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how they No, work. it's at, it's in, the Sarlacc yeah, is in the they're pit. They're like cartoon. a plant. Yeah, yeah they yeah. burrow in there. Yeah. When it blew in, then it just blew away with the, the sandstorms. I mean... The thing about Boba Fett, like, I do feel like, man, that's a big get if they do that, but why does that episode have to take place on Tatooine if not for a reason like that? Yeah. But I don't know. Uh, Wayne Cody says, is Baby Yoda's healing power a new force power? I don't ever remember seeing it until this point. Uh, it is a new force power in, in, live in regards of seeing it in live action it's been in books we know that I Jedi can heal people we've just never seen it happen I don't think yeah. it happened in any of the animation shows well, no. well when I Anakin uh, bumped his head he had a concussion and Sakura I thought they were trying to to like he had a concussion he was passed out on yeah planet. on that one planet like she was like doing the, the something but this yeah. is the first time we've seen it like Wolverine heal yeah, yeah. we've never seen that we've never seen that yeah. but and even then I'm not sure exactly what they were doing it could have been trying to read how badly injured yeah. he was maybe even yeah but I think they stabilizing as like a, him as I remember yeah as far as like a heel like I don't think we've seen like a heel in any of the in any show like any movie or TV we've seen we think. saw Qui-Gon kneel down in his fight with Darth Maul and rest like he can in Jedi Fallen Order yeah and that heals him <laughs> well yes <laughs> but uh heal him enough I mean, Nice Little Republic Jedi Outcast every Star Wars game has a force heal ability so it's not unheard of it's not something that doesn't fit in Star Wars. We just yeah. haven't seen it. And I believe, yeah. I don't know if in canon books, but in EU, I believe they had force healing of powers. They did. Like, one of the greatest books of all time in Shadows of the Empire, Darth Vader does it on himself. But because he's happy that he's healing himself, it sh the dark side consumes and chases away, like, the ability to, to heal. heal himself. Yeah. It was also, it was healing the Jedi Apprentice books, too. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, it's been in EU yeah. In EU books, I don't know if, I haven't read any of the canon books, really. Not too many of them. I don't mm -hmm. know if they have yeah, any, catch up any, any of those right now. Yeah, I yeah, know. But we need to do a Star Wars book club. You like, mean one, Once a month. At least us three. <laughs> I don't know about these two yet. Yeah. I don't want to spoil you guys if we read something related All to like, Clone Wars stuff or Rebel it. stuff or whatever. I'll do it, yeah. I'm into Let's it. do a Star Wars podcast. Like, should we read an Ahsoka book with you guys? I want to read you guys that. don't know where it takes place? Where in the Clone Wars? What happens? Common Omar says, can we all just fast forward to December 27th, please? No. No, we got to go be the over. It. Yeah. Huh? Then it would be over. <laughs> and nine would be over. You know what? It says something on how excited I am for the show that I'm like, yeah, that would be awesome. But I'm I'm already having a huge Star Wars moment There's in between. Movie this Friday. Yeah. And yeah. I'm excited to see what happens in Resistance Monday, and yeah. then what happens on this, the next Friday. Like, this, this whole next week of stuff is going to be great. Clone Wars will come back, and it'll be great. Gotta get a celebration, ah, boys. Christmas! Gotta get a celebration. Ah, Gotta get a celebration. Ah, Christmas! <laughs> Aren't you glad you came? <laughs> Hits me. Aren't you glad you came? I'm like, yeah, I guess. Aren't you got this poster. Oh, he hit me. He was, yeah. Aren't you glad you came? I'm like holding this poster came. besides this book. So yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> Aaron looked at me like... <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Connor Good. says, Connor says, first off, I have to wait nine days for the next one. Yeah, we got this one early, yeah. so we have to wait more. Yeah, we have to wait more Star days. Wars tomorrow slash the next day. Secondly, what a phenomenal episode. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Now I'm going to cry. I have spoken. For Breezy says, okay, so we clearly see the Yodlings, uh, the y Yodling using yeah, the dark side yeah, of the force by force choking the shock trooper. Do you think this is why Garland Esposito's character wants a Moff Gideon? Uh, because of the dark side connection? No. I, I think this might the first. This is the first time it's happened. Yeah, I think it's just the Force connection. Uh, yeah. I, I do wonder if he uses that to choke everybody. Or the race. Leave. Could you imagine? Yeah. It's, One it's, of those two connections. Yoda just saves the day. He just goes like this. And just all the troopers are like... And they just all die. <laughs> yeah, that, that's well, that's my theory. Yeah, that's be crazy. I can't oh. believe it. And then IG Eleven flies in or something. Oh. Flies in. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Winchester says, "I told you all this death and violence could turn Baby Yoda into a Sith. He's force choking people now." <laughs> they cool. He had Sith eyes when he did it. He's, He's like, like, "Oh, this is cool." <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love, I love the idea that like, shocking a hundred troopers <laughs> flying around in tornado. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of like it's it's based on instinct of this little like baby. You know, babies just, babies just do things by instinct. They cry because of instinct of something being wrong. You know, yeah. like they don't know that hey, if I 
they don't know right away, hey, I'm gonna, if, when I come out of here, I'm going to cry because something's wrong. They just do it, and then someone takes care of it. I thought there would be more to the pram, because, like, why did he make a new pram? And I thought there would be more to the plan, because Mando was like, I got a plan. Rick, you didn't really seem to have much of a plan. I thought you missed said plan the first time you no. started saying it. And no, then pram. I what you were saying. The pram, they you could... needed that so that they can okay. well, go in there without you... knowing that he's not there. Yeah. Yeah, but the first one closed, too. Yeah, but that, they don't have yeah, that one. they don't have it. It's in the dumpster. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, they could have still used it, but somehow he already knew the Yoda creature was not there. Mm-hmm. I, well, I think because of the tracking file, the tracking file probably maybe. told him it was on the ship. I don't know. I mean, but, yeah, maybe. But it wasn't on the ship. That's Yet. Yeah. Well, it, it, oh, out there, <laughs> out there. That I way. mean, the scout troopers heard the message. Yeah, but before that, though, they shot uh, the client and yeah. everything. So, like, he knew it wasn't in there before. Moff Gideon Because he's like, it's sleeping. He's like, check again. And he's like, Brrr. The way Moff Gideon looked as a hologram, he looked like he was like a Sith because of the cape and like the. Where was he when he chest. went like? Yeah. Like I thought he was just outside saying shoot him. You know. Yeah. I, I, then he was in a ship. I think. I think yeah, he's up in like a star destroyer or something. Yeah. And then he came and down. He in his ordered him. Yeah. And he just did this. So he's not. He's not standing in this Tie Fighter. You know. Well, that's what I'm saying. No. It's so fast. That's why I was confused. Maybe everything I know about Tie Fighters is wrong. That's true. Yeah. I mean, he probably gave yeah. the order. Did you know they have a rear and, cockpit? And stopped it. <laughs> Yes. I didn't learn that until Last Jedi, or not Last Jedi, but For- Force Awakens. Well, the, yeah. Yeah, the First Order My ones toys are certainly didn't have one as a kid. No. Yeah, well, for- First Order ones are bigger and different than oh, the okay. Imperial ones. Imperial was just one one fighter. Wasn't they were, that they were also cheaper a, too, a TIE bomber or something like that? No. Mm. No. That's all the Q&As we had. We have one more episode, so you guys, if you guys want to get into these videos, you can do that next time. Um... The, another really cool, I mean, seeing the TIE fighter do that, like, I now I need to get a new toy that does that. Yeah. But we also, speaking of toys, an old Kenner troop transport ship, which finally found its way to the screen first in Rebels. We talked about that before. In Rebels, they had that old toy that, you know, Kenner ran out of toys to make. They started making things up, sure. you know? Like, put your troopers in this. They go over this way, you know? Mm-hmm. Now we see it in live action. That's amazing. Uh, Dave Filoni brought it there, and I think he brought it here, so it's cool. fantastic that, yeah. that Kenner toy's there. Yeah, There was a, a thing in Resistance that we saw the other day, and when I was watching Force Awakens that same day, there was a, the, it's like the transport shuttle they use mm-hmm. whenever they land on the ship, yeah. uh, uh, Jakku. Yeah. Like, they got the same one that they had in Resistance, and I was like, oh, man, Sweet. They, 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 it's the exact yeah, same thing. Cool. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I love just seeing, like, all the... Don't they weird. use in episode two, kind of, too? Like this is Yoda on those things when he surround the survivors. Well, no, those are like the those are like the clone ones. Yeah. But this is like a the the new first order like trooper yeah. transports they have. Like okay. they land and it has like it it's the one like in the trailer and stuff and you see it in the movie too. Like there's the lights flashing and there's just stormtrooper armor yeah. and stuff and then they come out and it's very like D Day you know like the boats and then they have that thing that comes down and they all just run out of it. Yeah. It's very similar to like one of those but oh, in a yeah. spaceship format so it's all enclosed and it comes okay. in and lands. Okay, yeah. That was what uh, they had in Resistance that Kaz and then like yeah. flew away. And so it's cool seeing like just different ships and things mm-hmm. related to the movies and all that. Yeah. It's also what? awesome seeing the 501st. I don't know if we oh, mentioned that yet. Oh, fantastic, right? We yeah. learned when we were at Celebration that they were going to use the 501st. They, they needed stormtroopers. They didn't have enough yeah. Costumes they, or whatever. So they were like, "How do we get more outfits for Storm?" Was it Dave that said that? Like, I think call it was these yeah. guys. Dave, who's like, "Call the 501st. And yeah, they, they, and said, they talked hey, about how they look better than the ones on set. We need people. You can't ask questions. Come here. <laughs> he, he said that their outfits were immaculate, and they were like, they they knew what to do. They, they knew yeah. how to stand. The, the movement. They knew, they knew how to make how it to look like stormtroopers. <laughs> it looked fantastic. Yeah. You know? So that had to have been such an amazing thing to have been one on that set, but to see yourself. Yep. Look, that's me. Like you know. <laughs> These guys that go out, they do this charity work for kids and all this stuff, and their entire lives they've been wanting to be a stormtrooper. They fucking got it. Yeah, yeah, good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Good for um, those, those men cosplaying bad men. Exactly. Yeah. Doing great things. What is a menagerie? It's like a it's like a zoo. Is that what that is? He said it's like a high flutin menagerie. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I understand that. What's high flutin? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's that stuff that people don't want in their bread. High pollutant is no, like super fancy. Super yeah. fancy zoo is that what he meant? Yeah. Okay. I want gotcha. gluten <laughs> free. When he was saying that, I was like, "What the hell does he mean? Like, it's the best choice on the buffet or something?" I was like, I'm trying to think of what it means. <laughs> um, I, I did. <laughs> why are you trying to? Prove? That's why I ask things so I can learn, Calvin. Okay. He's never. Read, he's only read it. I uh, made that joke once already. It's, it's, 
It's funny because you're trying to put it in terms you understand. Exactly. You explain <laughs> what is unknown with what is known. It is high gluten buffet. Um, <laughs> you said gluten. <laughs> <laughs> when I say it, it's like, oh, fat. When you say it, eh, it's a good joke. <laughs> I say it's a good joke. I, uh, I did like, though, um, the, the, the Kara and Qu- Quill, Qu- Quill, Quill, like, Quill. Imp. Like, like I'm old empire, you're old republic. Ex, re, yeah, rebellion kind of thing. Like yeah. I, I like that a lot. Like just them both stating it, but then also kind of having some odds with each other, but then also like overall working together. <laughs> and like, like imp it was a good way to, drop her. to develop I, Quill's backstory. Like I just was, I was, I was an indentured servant. He's basically a slave. You know, I, I love that too. But I love that Kara was just still skeptical of it. She was like, so, wait, you're just walking around free now? Like, I, I, you know, I was almost saying that, like, I've seen the people that were slaves. They don't get free. So you must have done something to allow yourself to get out that I hate, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I like that it was like, like she's a she's tougher than I am in that. Because I would have been like, oh, man, that sucks. And I just accepted it. But it took her a little bit longer, you know? Yeah. Um, so the, the Empire was around for 300 years? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, she's... He was enslaved for three lifetimes. The Empire's around for like 25, 24 years, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because he ended up with the Empire doesn't mean that it was he was a slave. With the Empire. Yeah. He could have been with the, you know, the, the separatists. He was an indentured or, servant first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all those other knots might be little slaves. Yeah. The Republic outlawed slavery, but Anakin was a slave, you know? Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And there's also like. You, you you said three hundred years, but are you relating a lifetime to being a hundred years, or is he? Well, even is if it's he relating it to seventy years, years it's or still two hundred and seventy. I would say that he's been a slave for his whole life, only the end with the empire. Well, like you know, yeah. Yes. And the what, way he said it too, it was he was saying like three of your lifetimes, not necessarily like. The, a full human lifespan, but like where she's, she's at, like thirty, where she's like so maybe 30, ninety years, maybe ninety years. Where she's at so far, yeah. Or if you're looking at like you know how how good is a slave? Well, a slave's only good until they're about you know fifty or sixty, and then they're not really worth this or that or something. Maybe yeah. I don't I don't know how slaves work in. You gotta read up you know, on space or slavery. I'll look up on some slavery Star space Wars slavery. and in slavery books. There's a bunch of different slavery things, and which we'll see in other shows we watch and stuff. They kept calling her a dropper. Yeah. yeah, like a drop trooper. Well, like, how they know that? She's a she's a shock trooper. I, I assume what they do is they just they dr- literally drop them in behind enemy lines and they yeah. just fuck things up. Yeah, and she said about that too with going back to Navarro, or whatever here with being like, once you dropped once in, you there's drop no in. cover and stuff. And I, that's why I liked him being like yeah. a dropper like you and yeah. stuff like I, that. It so. makes me really want to see like rebel shock troopers in action because we've seen imperial shock troopers like in clone troopers and stuff. But yeah, yeah. I want to see like a rebellion one. Yeah, like. I mean, the closest we get, I guess, is the people that went with uh, Jyn Erso, right? Those, those like rebellion, rebellious people, or rebellion. They are. They're, all, they're very rebellious. They're very rebellious people, but like <laughs> they're part of the rebellion, and they rebelled against yeah. the rebellion. In, in Rogue to One, to whenever they said helps. like we're not going to help, and then those like there were guys back there, they're like, no, we're going to help. We've been yeah. we've been fighting this fight well, you know, forever. I, I love in there because they're like you know we. We've done <coughs> terrible things yeah. in the name of the rebellion. I've been fighting this since I was six years old. Let's do something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I like yeah, it. me too. It's great. Like I could easily see Kara in there in that group. Yeah, I love how the client was talking about how you know from his point of view, and he's probably right to a certain extent. And especially when you read the book, The Lost Stars talks about it, the Empire improves everything it touches. From a certain point of view. Yeah, like, yeah, in, yeah. yeah. For, the exactly. people, for the people it benefits, yes. Yeah. But they're not thinking about the people it doesn't benefit. Yeah. Well, like, in some cases, like, it does take a, like, a shitty plane and they make it better and everyone's happy. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. For, for the people it benefits, yeah. not yeah. everybody. He yeah. says every metric is, is better. Yeah. But that's also only the things that are, like, measurable. Yeah. It's like, you can't measure, well, like, freedom and happiness and liberty why, necessarily. As, why, like, you can, like... Know, how much power everyone is getting. Yeah. While I don't love the Canto Bite stuff from The Last Jedi, like that's an important lesson. Like Finn comes in, look, this place is amazing. It's beautiful. Look all this. And you know, Rose is like, well, look closer. Look at the people you're not that aren't happy. Look at the ones that are suffering. Like those kids being beaten and stuff. Like that I think that's what they're talking about when it says, like, oh the Empire, everything's better now. 
yeah. think, yeah, for for these people, but not for everyone. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's similar to that in that regard. That one also touches on the idea of, like, they all made money selling weapons to the Empire. Mm-hmm. And then you have that DJ or whatever being like, Look at this. It's good and bad, you know? Like, <laughs> everyone's getting weapons. Yeah. Everyone's getting money. You know? It's just... Yeah. Joy. Those who have the money, they're happy. The people exactly. who are not Good are. and bad. Made up words. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's all I got. You guys got anything else? Love this show. Love this show. So much. One more. Oof. Can't wait to episode nine, and then we finish this, and then I'm this. moment to hell to do my life. We got, we got Overwatch coming. We got Resistance. season two, Mandalorian. We got Resistance okay, finishing up. We got Clone Wars coming back. And yeah. you know they're going to be... At, you know, Star Wars is, is alive. It's not dead, you know? So... There'll be more stuff. The thing that bothers me the most about watching the show Mm -hmm. in this order is that we get episode 7, then episode 9, then episode... Well, that's why we should be calling it chapter 7 and chapter 9, because they say chapters. That's right, but... Nope, we need a poll. Oh, yeah. You think Quill is dead? (sighs) Okay, yeah, uh... That's, yeah, my big quite, that's that. actually my yeah. big question. I, I mean, I could see him being alive somehow, but I also, I think, I think he's dead. What yeah. do you guys say? I think he's dead. Dead? Shane? I think he, Now I'll say alive. Fuck it. Calvin? I hope he's alive. I think he's dead, but of course everyone hopes he's alive. I hope he's alive so much I'm going to say he's you alive. You have to okay. pick one. Not hoping nothing. Yeah. You have to pick one. I did. I said alive. He's I, alive. I think there's smoke behind him and that he got hurt really bad and the IG droid will save him. Yeah, I, I believe he'll live. I don't know if he's... You know, I don't we know. Should each this put... is Star Wars. I mean, think about it. Darth Maul. Mm-hmm. I mean, so much, yeah, so much stuff happens. So, yeah. He could live. Yeah. I right. believe he does. The people that are wrong get slapped no! this episode. Nope. Yep. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys come back see that slap. It better not be me. Subscribe so you don't miss the slap. Slap. What? What's that? Does this to everyone agree that it's a slap? Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Slap. Yeah. Put your hand in. Calvin. Put your, Calvin, you little bitch. Oh, I'm not Put your hand for in. Calvin. Calvin. Put your hand in. Calvin. Put your hand in. You owe me $19, I'll you asshole. Give me the money. Put your hand in. Ah!